Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings in my kitchen. I'm gonna make a Reuben sandwich. And on my rye bread that I made in the last video, that bread is so good. Y'all need to make you some, and you need to go over to um, Bread Machine Baking and Videos. I think it's the name of her channel. I just, I just, I just know where to go. It's with Ellen Hoffman. So if you Google Ellen Hoffman, you can see, you can go to her channel and see she's fabulous with making bread and the Zozarushi bread machine, but her recipes are adaptable to any uh, bread machine or you can do them manually. So go look, I'll try to remember to put the link below. I did on my rye bread, the link is on my rye bread. So I'm gonna make a Reuben, but when I was looking, I found a recipe instead of just using bought Thousand Island or making my usual Thousand Island that I just mix mayonnaise and ketchup with this and that in it. I'm gonna try this recipe that I found. And so we're gonna make the sauce first and then we're gonna to put together my Reuben and uh, grill it and I'll show y'all how I make it. I love a Reuben sandwich. I even got me the pickle to go with it. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna need is a half a cup of mayonnaise and I've got it in my uh, measuring cup here to mix up. Calls for two teaspoons of garlic and I don't know if that's fresh garlic or garlic powder. So I'm gonna use one clove of garlic in my mix. And I need two tablespoons, no, one tablespoon of purple onion diced. And I did way too much onion, but that's okay. A teaspoon of white vinegar. I need two tablespoons of sweet relish. One, two, I need two tablespoons of ketchup, let me change hands here, that one ain't too strong, that one ain't either, let's see what I can do. We've been going through the ketchup because let me tell you, I don't know if y'all's stores have um, Checkers seasoned French fries, but when Jordan's here, he's happy with, I've told y'all those, the brand is Bare, B-A-R-E, um, from Costco, Bare Chicken Feeders, they taste almost like uh, Raisin Cane's or Chick-fil-A, they're good. And um, he's been eating those. So those fries are good. And he has been going through them. Them and ketchup. I'm going to put this purple onion in this little measure cup that had the vinegar in it. Because I'll use it as something else directly. Okay. I needed a half a cup of mayo, two tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of sweet relish, a tablespoon of purple onion. And I put the one clove of garlic, a teaspoon of white vinegar, and it calls for some diced jalapenos. I'm not going to put that. So I'm just going to mix it up pretty good here. And then I'll taste it and see if it tastes like what we usually make. It looks pink. I mean, that's like, it's looking like it. It's pink. See if I can find my little tasting spoon over here. Come here, fella. I forgot the salt and pepper. I'm just gonna put a dash. I don't like a lot. Pepper? Yeah, I like pepper. That's good. Very good. I do think I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. Maybe a half a teaspoon. That's why you need to watch the video because I'm changing it up just a hair.
Okay. We got our sauce done. <clears throat> I'll put that to the side. I'm fixing to go to town and upload this for y'all. And then I'm going to go to Kroger because they've got the corned beef on sale again this week. I'm going to get me two or three of them. I'm excited about that. Okay, let me get my rye bread that I made yesterday that's so scrumptious. I'm fixing to uh, freeze what I don't use where I'll have it when I get ready for another Reuben. Now, I order these bread sacks off of Amazon, and I get the biggest one they have where it'll fit whatever loaf, my Pullman bread or whatever. I do have the lock and lock that I can put it in, but um, I like to have these bags too, because I can put this in the freezer. Okay, got my rye bread, it's so pretty. I'll try to remember to put a link below. It's the last video, but just in case y'all just thumb through, I'll put the link. Isn't that beautiful? And it tastes so good. So here's how I make my Reuben. I put my, uh, I put some of my dressing on my bread. And I like it on both pieces, the front and the back, I told y'all. The pastor that I grew up under, Brother Gerald, one time his wife was sick and she wanted a sandwich and she wanted mayonnaise on both sides of the bread. Well, he knew what she meant. I told y'all this before, but it's funny. So he put on both sides of each slice of bread. And he just thought that was so funny. You'd have to know him and his humor. He was funny. And uh, she wasn't very happy. Okay, now what I do, I'm going to have to squeeze out some of this I like this organic coleslaw that you get in the coal section at Costco because the probiotics are rich and good in this. But if you get the sauerkraut, what do I call this? It's sauerkraut. If you get the sauerkraut that uh, has been canned and has had heat applied, it destroys some or all of your probiotics. So if you have the refrigerator that's never been heated, it is good for you. So what I do when I make a ruby, that's why I'm showing y'all how I do this. I put my cheese, well, that'd be Johnny. You're getting weak when you can't even open a Ziploc bag. Dear Lord have mercy. I like to put my Swiss cheese on here, and I'm, I've had them to slice it thin. And I'm going to put this over there in the oven, kind of like Subway. And I'm going to melt my cheese, and then I'll finish putting everything together. So let me get that over there in the June oven, and I'll be right back. Got my cheese all melted good. So now I'm going to put, uh, I squeezed my sauerkraut out real good, and I'm going to put some of it on each side, because I like it fat and good. And I'm going to put my corned beef now. It's a little more pricey, but I like the uh, Boar's Head brand at Kroger, and, and HEB has it too. They have good quality lunch meat, so, and I have them to do it thin, and I'm just going to, well, that's two pieces. I don't want another sandwich, so I have to be, okay, two pieces should, I don't know, let's see how many pieces, I'll put one more piece, because it's awfully thin, and I want to taste the meat, too. I bought a quarter of a pound, and I'll have enough for two sandwiches, two fat sandwiches. Troy don't like a Reuben. We really don't match at all of what we like. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of this, because I like it. Because I can. And then I'm going to real quickly Put that on the top. Now, I'm going to come over here to the skillet and I'm going to put some butter on the outside and I'm going to grill both sides of this. And 
and when I put this in, I will rub some on the other side. So let me get it in here. It's not hot yet, but it'll get hot. That there. Give me some butter for this side. While that's heating, I'm going to run get my chips because you have to have potato chips with the root. And I love those big old thick ones from, um, there's a piece of, that was a piece of my sauerkraut and I have to eat it. I'm going to get my chips and get my pickle and I'll be ready to eat this sandwich here in a minute. These are the, the ones that I get at Costco. They're the kettle cut, um, they're good. And then you see my piece of tape down here? I just fold my bags. It doesn't matter if it's brown sugar or what it is. I fold it all up like this and I have a piece of masking tape. And I close it with that and I make me a little tab and you can stick and restick and it keeps stuff fresh. I like to have a container to put them in, but when I don't have a container, this is what I do. That's just a little tip that I use. Y'all might do that. It's easier than me trying to keep up with a bunch of clips. I keep my roll of masking tape over there in the junk drawer. Do y'all have a junk drawer at your house? I think everybody has a junk drawer. It's got a few, uh, it's got some tape and scissors and pliers and paper clips and junk. And that's where I keep my tape. Okay, that's the ones that I use, so let me get over here and take care of my um, sandwich before it burns. Let's see. Well, that isn't burning yet. I like it to get toasted good, and I'll be right back when that gets done. I'm going to cut it, put me some chips and a pickle, and feel like I'm at the deli. I just wanted y'all over this hot stove with me. Check this sandwich. Yeah, buddy, that's what I like to see. So I will grill that other buttered side real good. See, if you melt your cheese over there under the broiler in whatever oven that you choose, then basically you're just heating it through maybe to your meat this way. But I like the cheese good and melted. Sometimes I'll put my meat on top of it and have it hot at the same time. But I'll get this done. Doesn't that bread just look like a loaf of bought bread? I'm so proud of my rye bread. I'm so glad I met Ellen Hoffman and she's taught me so much about making bread and about using my bread machine. I'm thankful to get smarter from her knowledge. Okay, I'm going to get this plated up and then I'm going to have it for brunch because it's not lunch but it's well after breakfast. And then I got to run to town and upload this video when I get it edited. So let me get over here and get it plated and I'll be right back. You ever tried to cut a sandwich and it just slides wonky jawed? Well, I have learned that if you will cut from the center out, turn your plate and cut from the center out, it don't slide around so bad. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So here we have our Reuben sandwich and our pickle, and I'm fixing to have lunch. But I got to take pictures of this pretty plate. Then I'll talk to y'all a little bit more, and then I'll sit down and have my brunch. That sounds fancy, don't it? Brunch. Okay, y'all, I'm fixing to sit down and have me some brunch and have my Reuben sandwich and a glass of sweet tea and that good Velasic dill pickle spear. I mean, I'm looking like the deli here all by myself. I'm going to have fun. Thank y'all for watching the video. Thank you for being subscribers to Apron Strings. Y'all make my day. I love your comments, your emails, your caring, your prayers. Thank you so much. I am blessed by my YouTube family. And I hope the Lord blesses y'all. I pray for you. God bless all of my subscribers and keep your hand on them and supply their needs and give them wisdom to live in these turbulent times that we're in. Sometimes we need a little nudge from somebody that knows more than we do on what to do. And I depend on the good Lord to help me to know 
you know, if I really need to take care of something or if that's just somebody being an alarmist. We are in terrible times. We're in um, uncharted seas that we haven't been in before. We've been so blessed. We've lived in the land of plenty. We had money to go buy what we wanted most of the time and at least what we needed. We've had uh, everything's at our fingertips. Whatever you want is there. If you work hard enough, you can get it. Well, it ain't going to keep being there. From what I'm hearing, there's going to be food shortages. There's going to be there's going to be problems. At some point, our currency will change. Um, Y'all, be wise. Get you a little bit of a stock of food that'll carry you for a little while if we have some issues that that the trucks can't get there or the trucks don't have anything to put in them to bring to us. While you can get what's still available, put some stuff in your pantry. Don't advertise what you're doing. It ain't none of nobody's business. Let everybody, you know, there comes a time when it's ever feller for itself. You, uh, you prepare for your family. Keep your mouth shut. Have your stuff where it's locked in your house. We don't know what we're facing. Hungry people become violent people. So protect yourself. Protect your possessions. Trust the good Lord. Lean on Him. I don't listen to the news a whole lot. In fact, where I've gotten the information that I have been listening to a couple of videos was on YouTube and the guy seems like he knows what he's talking about and he's giving you documentation who's saying what he's repeating. So I think we're in for some rough times and I think if you're wise, you'll prepare a little bit. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. I'm going to have a good meal here and then I'm going to edit this video and get it. I start uploading it home and then I go to town and I just park where there's good free internet that makes it go faster. So I want y'all to get this today so you'll have it for St. Patrick's Day if you wanted to serve some Reuben sandwiches. Just showing you how I do it. I'm telling you, they're pretty cop picking good. Make you some. Take care of yourself. Be wise, make some memories, open this present today, get all the goodness out of it you can. Enjoy our good times while we got good times, and hope and pray they last a long time. The Lord bless y'all. See you in a little bit.